Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel that is Biology at your fingertips and today I am going to make a requested video which is very important from examination point of view. So today we would be learning the pulmonary volumes. There are 10 main pulmonary volumes which we have to read for examination. So I have just simplified them. So what you have to do to learn all these pulmonary volumes, firstly you have to watch my videos and you have to note down the important points from this video into a paper sheet. And you have to revise this paper at least twice. Once after a day and once after a week. So that each and everything from that particular article would be on your fingertips. So let's start. So you have to remember only four respiratory volumes that is TV tidal volume. Tidal volume is the amount of air inspired or expired during normal breathing. Now I am breathing normally. So this is TV which is 500 ml, very easy to understand, very easy to learn, 500 ml. After that, IRB, this is the forcible inspiration, the volume of air that I inspire forcefully is known as IRB which is 2.5 to 3 liters or 2500 to 3000 ml of volume. After that, ERV that is the expired air which is the forcefully expired air that is 1000 to 1100 ml and the fourth one is RV which is 1100 to 1200 ml which is the volume of air that is remained in lungs even after a forceful expiration. So we have to memorize only four volumes that is TV tidal volume 500 ml IRV 2.5 liters to 3 liters, ERV 100 to, uh, sorry, 1000 to 1100 ml and RV 1100 to 1200 ml. So, we are going to read all these remaining respiratory volumes from these four volumes. IC, in this particular volume that is inspiratory capacity, I is coming there. So, we are using IRV here, IRV plus TV which is going to be constant in these two volumes or all volumes except FRC. So we have marked FRC with another color. So TV is constant and I means inspiratory so we have written inspiratory reserve volume here. EC that is expiratory capacity simply means TV is constant and we are using ERV here. BC that is vital capacity. This is the sum of vital capacity. So we have to use TV, ERV and IRV. We have to use all the respiratory volumes except RV. In TLC that is total lung capacity we have to use all these four volumes that is TV, ERV, IRV plus RV. For FRC that is functional residual capacity. The trick is ER, that is engineer. The mark for doctor is DR and the mark for engineer is ER. So E means ERV simply and R means RV. Because in these four volumes, from E only one volume is starting that is ERV and from R only one volume is starting that is RV. So the FRC will be ERV plus RV and the trick is ER, that is engineer. So, after that, if we talk about the vital capacity, it is higher in athletes than a normal man and it is higher in men as compared to women. This is very important from examination point of view that the vital capacity is higher in athlete as compared to normal man and it is higher in men as compared to a normal women. After that, the most important respiratory volume which is not given in NCRT is the anatomical dead space. The anatomical dead space means the air that is entrapped in the respiratory pathways which is even present in our body after our death. In pathways that is 150 ml which is very easy to learn. So this is another respiratory volume. So we have talked about TV, IRV, ERV and RV. We have to remember only these four respiratory volumes and we can derive all the formulas 
for remaining respiratory volumes from these four and ads that is anatomical dead space is very important and the breathing rate of a human being is 12 to 16 per minute so we can easily calculate that what is the volume of air that we are inspiring or expiring in a in per minute so that 12 into 500 that is 6000 ml and 16 means 8000 ml and if you have to calculate the respiratory volumes from this particular formula you have to you know choose the maximum value for this particular formula for example if you have to calculate tv plus irb so you will be called calculating it as tv means 500 and irb means 3000 ml not 50 if you are calculating it for simplicity it is taken as the maximum value so it will be 3500 ml so this is the simplified version of the pulmonary volumes. I hope that this trick is going to help you a lot in your examinations. So thank you so much guys for watching this video. If you really like this video then hit like button and if you are new then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much again for watching this video.